Carp had a setback after he uh, threw his last uh, live. So it looked really good and felt good. The next day, uh, just didn't respond like like he had hoped or we had hoped. So uh, sending back to St. Louis for some tests uh, yesterday and uh, coming some more tests today. I'm Eric Heiss with the MLB.com FastCast. Cardinals ace Chris Carpenter returned to St. Louis on Tuesday. The rider will undergo tests as weakness in his right shoulder and neck resurfaced in a bullpen session on Monday. Carpenter is unlikely to be ready for opening day as card skipper Mike Matheny named his opening day starter on Wednesday. I think right now pretty much off the board, at least opening day. And um, we've, uh, we've given Kyle that assignment. Uh, Loesch is going to be the opening day guy against Miami. And um, you know, we'll just, once again, try not to get too far ahead of ourselves with Carp because we certainly don't know. Johan Santana looked sharp as the Mets were edged by the Cards 2-1 on Wednesday. Santana tossed six innings of one-run ball and fan six. The lefty was very impressed with his outing. Being able to get people out with less pitches and, and, um, and work past five innings is, 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 is a big day for me. Joaquin Soria will take a couple of days off to consider what to do about his ailing elbow. The Royals closer has damage to his ulnar collateral ligament, a problem usually solved by Tommy John surgery. Soria has already undergone the surgery once in his career. Soria's mates ousted the A's 8-3 on Wednesday. Alex Gordon went two for three with an RBI in the win. The Braves slipped by the Nationals 3-2 in 10. David Rome's sack fly in the 10th proved to be the difference. National skipper Davey Johnson named Steven Strasburg the team's opening day starter before the game. It's a tremendous opportunity. It's a tremendous honor. And you know, I said this, said this before and I'll say it again. We got, we got not just you know me, but four other guys in the rotation that are very capable of, of taking the ball the first day. And that's what's so great about this organization, this rotation, that we're young and we got a lot of talent. And so now we just got to go out there and prove it. In other spring action, Luke Hughes outed a three-run home run to help the Twins take out the Tigers 7-3. The Pirates outlasted the Red Sox 6-5. Nate McLeod took out his first home run of the spring in the triumph. And that one is out of here, into the bullpen and gone. Gustavo Molina put the game away for the Yankees in the ninth with a two-run shot as the Bombers beat the Rays 5-2. Brett Pill pounded out a three-run home run to carry the Giants over the Indians 5-3. And Tim Stauffer tossed six scoreless to lead the Padres past the Dodgers 3-0. For more highlights from Wednesday's spring action, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.